hi everyone welcome to park mess how to solve this nice square root math problem that is square root of 1 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 is equal to 24 raised to power x now here first of all we will take square on both sides to eliminate this one square root so let us take square on both sides of this equation so it will become square root of 1 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 whole square is equal to 24 raised to power x whole square. Then in the left hand side this square and this square root will be cancelled. So only 1 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 will be left. But one time any number is the same number. So this will become square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 is equal to. And here you will multiply these two powers. So it will become 24 raised to power 2x. Now next again we will take square on both sides to eliminate this one square root. So again take square on both sides. So here this square and this square will be cancelled so only 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 will be left in the left hand side and here we will multiply the powers so it will become 24 raised to power 2 times 2 is 4x and here next we will square on both sides to eliminate this one square root so taking square on both sides here this square will be applied on this number and this one number so this will become 2 raised to power 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 or raised to power 2 is equal to 24 raised to power 4 times 2 is 8 x so here this square and this square will be cancelled so this will become 2 raised to power 2 is equal to 4 times 3 times here we can write this 4 as square root of 2 square now this square and this square will be cancelled and next it will become 24 raised to power 8x so here there is only 2 as left so we will multiply these three numbers 4 times 3 is 12 and 12 times 2 is 24 so it will become 24 is equal to 24 raised to power 8x so here the bases are same so we will compare the powers so the powers are 1 and 8x so this will become implies 1 is equal to 8x now we will divide both sides by 8 so this will become this 8 and this 8 will be cancelled so x is equal to 1 over 8 so x is equal to 1 over 8 is our answer and our root of this square problem now here we will verify it that x is equal to 1 over 8 is the exact and correct root of this nice square root problem or not so we will verify it here let's verify verify to verify it we will write the problem here that is square root of 1 times square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 is equal to 24 raised to power x but x is 1 over 8 so here we will try to simplify this left hand side so we can write this further as square root of 1 but square root of 1 is 1 so this will become square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 4 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8 next we can write this left hand side as sorry there is a square root so this will become square root of times square root of 2 we can write this 3 as square root of square root of square root of 
3 times we can write for as square root of square root of square root of square root of 4 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8 now as since square root is equivalent to the power 1 over 2 so here we will replace these square roots with the fraction value 1 over 2 so this will become 2 raised to power there is 2 times square root so multiplying 1 over 2 2 times you will get 1 by 4 so this number is equivalent to this one number times 3 raised to power multiplying 1 over 2 3 times we will get 1 by 8 times and here we can write this power as 2 raised to power 2 so here the power 2 will be cancelled with this one square root so there will be only 3 times this square root so we can write this as 2 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. <coughs> now here in the left hand side these two bases are same. So we will add their powers. So this will become 2 raised to power 1 over 4 plus 1 over 8 times 3 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So here in the power we will take LCM. So this will become 2 raised to power. LCM of power of N8 is 8. Dividing 8 by 4 gives him 2. 2 times 1 is 2 plus. Dividing 8 by 8 gives him 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Times 3 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So next this will become 2 raised to power. 2 plus 1 is 3 by 8 times 3 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So next we can write this power as 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power 1 over 8 times 3 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So here 2 raised to power 3 is equal to 8 raised to power 1 over 8 times 3 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So here these two numbers have the same power. So here we will use the same power exponential formula and we will take out 1 over 8 from the product of these two numbers. So this will become 8 times 3 whole raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. So 8 times 3 is 24 raised to power 1 over 8 is equal to 24 raised to power 1 over 8. Now my dears, do it to both sides. In both sides, the numbers are same. So it means that x is equal to 1 over 8 is the correct and exact group of x and this square root map problem. And last, if you like this video, so don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.